name is Vincent Meza, and this is Listings to Leads. And this is our call regarding the top ways of getting more listings. And I want to point out that this is occurring, these tools I'm about to show you are occurring right now. Um, so one thing about Listings to Leads that you should know is we have tools for you if you have listings, and we have tools for you if you don't have listings. Okay. And either uh, whether you have listings or not, we have tools to help you get more buyers or more sellers. So if you need more listings or you need to talk to more buyers, we're going to talk about, we, we've got a lot of ways to help you do that. Today's call though is really focused on how do you get more listings? Okay. And so I'm going to log into my account and show you the tools that are sort of there. And there's basically what I'd like you to think of is there are three large areas to capture listing leads. These may be obvious to you, but I just want to start off kind of high level. One is social media. The other is marketing your listings. Um, the other is your CRM. A lot of people fail to think about their CRM. Um, as a resource for more business, even though you got a drip campaign, but uh, your phone never really rings much from your CRM. So there's social media, there's CRM, and there's print, okay? And I'm gonna show you those tools right now, but if you keep that in mind, like if you want more listings, you need to be thinking of social media, print, and your CRM, okay? Now there's some email stuff too, but that really flows into the CRM. So right now while I was talking, I took us to our listings page. And the reason why I brought us here is a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of realtors think that there is some special tool out there that's gonna help you get listing leads. And that's, you know, that's it. And then you only focus on that and that gets you more listings. But really what I really want you to wrap your head around is if you market your listings with listings to leads, even if you borrow a listing and it's not your listing, there are going to be uh, tools here to help you get more listings. So if you have something just listed, the marketing tools for just listed are going to help you get more listings. If you have an open house, there are going to be tools to help you get more listings. Now, obviously, we're designed to get buyers at the exact same time, but I just want you to realize, like, if you're not paying attention to marketing your listings, you're not going to get more listings, right? And if you just follow the simple tools, you'll you'll end up getting, of course, you're going to get buyers because they're early stage and that's what, what we're focused on, but we also can help you get more listings. So that's kind of a big thing that you want to think of. Um, Janet says, I've been paying easy agents 50 a month to sign the 97 to do listings. What is the benefit? Easy agents is some, I think the benefit, Janet, I don't really know what the benefit is. I, I know that they're kind of trying to use us and have people sign up under their link, but it's the same platform. Uh, so I don't know what that, the difference, Janet. So let's get into, let, let me just say, while we're on the listings page, you might not have your own listing, but if you click this green button and you click grab active listing, you can drop in the zip code and the MLS ID and just deselect it since it's not your listing, we won't create a YouTube video and click grab and we'll pull it in and then it'll be sitting here in your listings area. Now, I'm gonna go here and edit my active listing and I'm gonna add an open house to it, okay? Because I wanna show you how when you add an open house, it, you're, you know you're looking for buyers, right? But how can this get you more listings, right? So right now I'm adding an open house, which is typically it's early stage, so we're looking for buyers, but I keep telling you, you can get more listings by marketing this open house. So how in the world can that be, right? So let's look at it first. And so on your listings, um, if I go to market listing, the first place they drop you or we drop you is on running a Facebook ad. This will not help you get more listings, okay? 
Um, but the nearby homeowner letter, which is on this marketing list, is the number one tool to help you get more listings. Okay, if you don't know that, you absolutely need to know this. The nearby homeowner letter is the number one tool that we create that captures listing leads that turn into listing contracts. Now today, because we're focused on capturing listings, um, I'm gonna show you a lot of lead tools that capture listing leads. But the question then becomes, or should become, what's the quality of those leads, right? If they're coming to them from the internet, they're probably gonna be lower than the quality of this letter that we're looking at right here. So let me explain why this letter works so well. It's got a picture of the home, it says we've got an open house from one to four, you can take this physical piece of paper and get it, go over here to claremontliving.bestliving.com and become a buyer lead. Go find out about the house and become a buyer lead. But then on the same flyer, we automatically put, that's gonna affect your home value. So go here to this page and get your free home value, okay? So this is a physical piece of paper that I downloaded while I was talking here. I download it right here. And then you print it up. You look at it like this, you print it up, it's gonna have your contact info, it's gonna have your logo and all that. You print this up, you can put it in a box out in front of the house, you can door knock this, you can even mail it. Um, I hope, you know, as a segue, we, this is our mastermind group. I hope you're all in this group, and I'm gonna show you what you should be doing. You should be searching, if you want more listings, you should search these people's names. Chris Winstead, use that letter that I just showed you right here and mails it out to everybody that lives in his neighborhood that's owned their home for five years or more, okay? And once they opt in on the home value, he consistently contacts them every week with phone calls, bomb bomb messages, letters via mail, and then letters left at the door, okay? He gets five listings in three months from doing just that, from mailing this letter out every two weeks to people that own owned their homes for five years or more, okay? Now, I gotta point out, like that's a good video there that Chris has got, right? And that's helpful, but I gotta point out, when you start mailing a letter like that to people with home equity, if they're thinking of selling, they're gonna respond, right? This guy got five listings in three months in a neighborhood that he just moved into out of state. So he doesn't really have any name recognition. He is running an ad like this on, on Facebook, so you start to see his name. And then he's mailing at the same time every two weeks. So people start to get the gist that this guy knows how to sell homes, right? And then he puts on a very solid follow-up campaign right here every week hitting people up and that is really how you make this letter work okay we create it automatically for every stage whether it's just listed coming soon open house if it's pending or sold you some of our clients use it twice for each listing maybe just listed and just sold maybe open house and just sold some of them do it once. And of course, there are many of our clients that don't even use this, right? But for the people who want more listings, this is the number one tool. It will not generate 50 leads, right? It won't generate like 100 leads like a Facebook ad. It'll generate five or a dozen. But these are high quality leads because you're mailing it ideally to a targeted list. The simplest way is just to door knock it in the neighborhood where, you, where you're holding an open house. A lot of people just print up 100 and go door knock it, by the time they get back to the car, they've got seller leads, right? Now, I'm gonna show you a couple of other names and I hope you remember these and go look at these yourself. Alicia Pless has been a client for a long time and the reason why I bring her up is that she kind of learned what we have been teaching is that if your envelopes with this letter in it look like junk mail, they don't even get opened. And if they don't get open, they don't do anything for you, okay? So if you go look at what she's saying, she basically is saying she's getting listings every time she mails that out, right? And in here, she's saying, I got my third listing in six months 
in the same subdivision. And I got to point out that subdivision has 50 houses in it, right? So Alicia is a really good person to look at here in the mastermind group and see what's going on. And then also Dustin Fox, there's a lot, of, there's a big dialogue. This guy uh, mailed 250 homes, same letter, first class mail, cost him 625 in Maryland, generates 10 listings with an average commission of $17,000. So he came in here to say our highest ROI is spending 625 on two mailings and making 170 grand, all right? Um, this guy went from being a rookie and an agent in an office of 300 agents to being a star in an office now, four years later, of 600 agents. That tool is very helpful. If you want more listings, it is on the listing marketing section. It's the fifth tool down called the Nearby Homeowner List. Okay, so that's a good tool to use. Now, there's another one here. It's called the Seller Social Media. Share on Seller Social Media. So let's look at it. And it looks like this. So notice it's an open house and it says we're having an open house and it's gonna have your name at your office is doing a lot of marketing. We expect a great turnout, right? Please share this or comment, right? So this is not for you, the realtor. This tool is emailed automatically to you with instructions to forward it. You can even click here where it says add sellers information and drop their, uh, their name right here, like Dear Joe or whatever, and put their email address and we'll start sending the tool automatically to the homeowner and we'll copy you. And whether you send it yourself or whether we send it and copy you, you need to call your client and say, I just sent you something. Would you open up your email and copy what I gave you and put it on your wall, right? Put it on your Facebook wall. And, and let me explain why you want to do that. I, I know there's still a good percentage of you that just don't even like Facebook, right? You don't hang out there. You don't know why people are sharing all the food they eat and every random idea that comes in their brain that you don't, you know, that they put on Facebook. But whether you like it or not, 70% of adults in the United States spend over 40 minutes every day there, all right? So your client, your target market is there. And if you take this tool and you give it to them and they put it on their thing, well, the, your clients likely have a few hundred friends and family and colleagues, or maybe even a few thousand who know them. And they're going to be sharing instead of pictures of their flowers or whatever nonsense they follow, they're going to be sharing that you are their realtor and they're selling their home. Okay. So this is really great if you like referrals. Does anybody here like referrals from their current clients? Because I know that a lot of you, I see it every time I go to a conference, you like to buy these really fancy knives. Like you can cut cakes with them and whatever, and maybe you're your logo or your name is in it, and that's cool, right? But we obviously think in a digital world over here, and we think about getting leads, and our clients love the fact that if somebody clicks on that, let me just click on this post for you so you can see how it works. It drives them to a single property website. This is coming from your client's Facebook wall, right? And if you scroll down this page, it says, what is your homework? Even though this home has an open house, it asks multiple times, would you like your free home value? You go down to the bottom, there's a big old, what is your home worth thing, right? If you go up here, I've got a lead link that says, what is your home worth? If you click follow this home, it's going to ask, do you own a home? If I say yes, do you need to sell it, right? So even when we're marketing a listing that we're really looking for buyers, we're trying to do everything we can to help you find listings at the same time. So that's for a home that's an open house. I'm gonna go back to the listings page and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's sold because a lot of agents, I think they're nervous about that tool I'm showing you, the seller social media thing. Um, but when they see this, it kind of hits them right on the head, right? It says, well, this one is I'm dealing with listing agent, but it should say, what is this? Why is it looking like that? Hold on a second, guys. 
Um, that looks like that's sold in 30 days. Let's see here. Just sold listing agent. Yeah. Okay. So when it's just sold and you're the listing agent, let's look at that that seller's social media post. It says our home is just sold, and we want to recommend you at your office for doing an excellent job. And here's your phone number and email address for all my friends and family and colleagues on Facebook to see, right? Now, if they click on this one inside Facebook, now the same single property website, the same property is sold. So when the call to action pops up here, we're only offering get your free home back, okay? And that's a key element of marketing, of using our sold tools, right? Um, a lot of people forget but even if it's just listed, if it's coming soon, if it's open house, there are a lot of call to actions to find out if there is a, um, if, if they own a home, right? Now, another great tool to use is the eFlyer for your database. And this looks a lot like that print letter. Notice it says it's just sold. If you click on that picture, you click on that link, you're going to go to the single property website and become a, a seller lead, right? Because it's sold. It also says that's going to affect your home value. And if you click here or here, that's going to take you to our home valuation landing page, right? Get your free home value. So that's what it looks like. And you can copy this right here. Just click copy and code and put it inside of your MailChimp or your CRM and blast it out. Now, I can't walk you through that because there's so many CRMs out there and they all kind of look and act differently. But you copy the code here, you take the HTML code into your CRM, and boom, send it out. So now on the listing side, we've got two, we've got three tools, right? The eFlyer for your database, the seller social media tool, and the nearby homeowner letter. These are three things you need to do if you want to get more listings. We've got a lot of other tools here, obviously, to market your listings, but we're really talking about how to get more listings right now. So those are the three that I want to focus on, okay? Now, the other area is PDF guides. And it's funny here because this is where you get to PDF guides, but we actually want to get to ads. And because Facebook has a lot of ways, Facebook is awesome for getting more leads, right? And if you want seller leads, let me show you the best way of getting seller leads from Facebook. You create a PDF report app. You'll notice that we've got 25 PDF reports for sellers and we've got 25 for buyers. But since this call, we're just talking about sellers, we're gonna stay there. And I'm gonna click over here on settings and point out that I can change this to different brands, right? If I If you don't work at, wherever I have it right now, who knows, um, I can change it to EXP and I can save it, right? Um, and then it changes the color scheme. I can even change it to Spanish if I want to do that, if I'm in a Spanish speaking community. And it's great because we translated every page. You are on every page of this PDF report and the ad will be translated to. Now, if you see this white button, you can download the report before you use it. But I'm just going to click here where it says create an ad. And all I got to do is type in the name of the town. Okay. So I'm going to just type in Lafayette, California. And I can click publish. Now that's a simple way. If you guys are right now bored or distracted with me, Try to focus because I'm going to show you something really new right now that if you want to get seller leads from Facebook, you need to do this. You need to click on advanced options. You need to click on create new form, form questions, and add this fourth question. What is your time frame to sell? And then click create form. And that form, that question will be asked right here. Okay. So we're going to get auto-populated name, email, and phone number, and we're going to give them a drop-down of what is your time frame sell. It's like one to three months, three to six months, or longer than six months. 
So what are you going to do if you get a lead with a name, email, and phone number, and somebody says they want to sell in less than three months? You need to get involved with that deal, right? Um, I mentioned the Chris Winstead story of everything he does to, to uh, convert. Um, and I would definitely recommend you follow that. Let's, let, we got a couple questions. Is there a way to automatically share the luxury website versus the other one to Facebook? Uh, not automatically, Joanna. And, and let me, and we'll, we'll talk, let me, I'll give you a bigger brand. What if your brand is not there? Edward, you can, uh, so what Edward is asking is in regards to, I'll just go over here to PDF guys, in regards to the color scheme of the PDF, you can actually create your custom. Well, you can, you see this, it says use global color, color settings from your profile. I would recommend you turn that on because when you turn that on, that's going to choose the colors in your profile and the, the colors in your profile, you just click buttons and you change the color. And so that would be the way that I would do it. If you, if you've got a brand that's not here. Okay. So let me ask, answer this question. Joanne is asking, um, is there a way to automatically share the luxury website versus the other one? Um, so Joanna, on your listings, are you creating your listings by hand or are they coming in automatically from the MLS? And let's go to listings to talk about this. So Joanna, if you can add to that question, that would help. So, um, what she is saying is she's she's talking about auto posting. So I'm going to click on this open house. Yeah, you're pulling them in, pulling them by hand. So you're uploading your own physical photographs, right, Joanna? Just a yes or no. Then. By MLS. Okay, so if you're okay, so that's that's kind of an issue. Okay, so so let's go look. This is called social media auto posting. Social media auto posting is cool, but you're not going to get a lot of listing this this way. I'm just going to answer this question for Joanna. Yeah. So Joanna, when she is getting her listings, she is uploading larger images, right? Because when the images come in from the MLS they're compressed, meaning they're smaller, okay? So when they're smaller, well, now we can't use them to do a luxury deal. So let me click on virtual tour. I have a luxury. This is our standard lead gen virtual tour, right? We call it lead gen because there's so many hooks in here to capture leads that it's our lead gen virtual tour, right? But if you are like Joanna and you upload your own photographs, they're not compressed, and now we can create this called a luxury, we call this a luxury virtual tour. It's a pan and zoom of photos. And the answer to your question, Joanna, is we don't have a way to do this because we cannot get photographs automatically in here, right? For, because you, you there's just no way to automate that because the MLSs are compressing it. So you're manually taking a step to upload high quality photos. And that means you'll have to take an extra step to, to auto post that or to share that, right? So just as a, you know, a thought, when you do social media auto post, we either put a listing landing page or we put a single property website or the virtual tour, right? You can do that. So that's that's kind of the answer there, Joanne. Because you have to manually put those things in, uh, you have to kind of manually push it out too because we can't automate something that's manual. I, I will, since we're looking at auto posting, please turn on your auto posting. This is great for listing presentations. You, you may not know this about listings to leads, but we auto post to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. We will do that on your channels if you connect it. This is an automated post on LinkedIn, right? If I click on that post, there's a page to capture me as a lead, right? So 
definitely turn that on. We're going to get back to our topic now about running, uh, about how to get listings, but turn on social media auto posting. It's really smart to be able to talk, to talk about the five biggest social media platforms in the country and that you actually know how to advertise there. You don't have to do it, tell them that we do it for you automatically. You just need to tell them that that's part of your, your marketing system, right? So back here to the PDF reports, I want to remind you there are 25 for sellers, there are 25 for buyers. And I'm going to do this. Uh, here's here's a divorce in real estate, right? Let's just go do that. So every time you choose a different report, don't forget you're branded on every page of that, right? All you got to do is type in a town, and since you're looking for listings, click advanced forms, create new forms, form question, and add that one question. What's your time frame to sell? Okay. There are other questions, but you don't want to ask a whole bunch of questions. When you ask a lot of questions, people just leave. So you want to have a minimal number of questions. I think knowing the time frame of when they need to sell is important, right? So we've talked about marketing your listings, using social media, using print, uh, using uh, your CRM. In the ad section, we've talked about using PDF reports, but I also want to talk about another thing to do with ads, and that's creating listing ads on sold properties, okay? It's funny because I talk to a lot of realtors and often I hear like, oh, I can't use your system because I don't have anything. I sold everything and I don't have anything to market. Well, if you want more listings, one of the top things you can do is market your property as sold. So when I click on that property, notice it just completely writes up an ad and says it's, you know, this home is sold and that affects your home value. You get your free home value by clicking here. So you kind of understand that, right? That's that's what we're after here, listing leads. Since we're looking for listing leads, we want to click advanced options and click create new form and then add that one of what's your time frame to sell. Right? But there's another thing that you should be doing for, for a lot of our clients, just default running an ad right here is going to work, okay? For some clients, running a sold ad doesn't work right and that has to do with i think a little bit of the competition in your market and so i want to give you a couple pointers what you should be thinking of doing when you're running a sold ad now this all this text here on the right i'm highlighting here this is all automated done automatically right it's reflecting this box over here on the left that says primary text now because we're doing this automatically we don't know everything about this home. You probably know a lot more about this home than Scott or I know, right? And one of those things that you know is that, you know, this uh, went into contract in four days, right? I mean, if you've been selling anything in the last year, you've probably had experiences where it sold fast. You might have had uh, experiences where it sold, you know, above asking. And you got, I don't know, eight offers. Seven buyers still looking. This is all, you know, the standard boilerplate text isn't always effective. But what I've just given you some ideas right here is this gets people motivated if they're thinking of selling. If you can tell them you can sell it fast and that you can get top dollar for their home, right? They might be a little more interested in talking to you. And that's what gets them to respond quicker to these ads. So sold ads work really well. Also, sometimes you can do under contract or pending. But if you're going to do that, you need to make sure that you can get another offer or that you're at, like if you want them to give you more offers on the home, you need to spell that out in the ad. Or you can also just say, this is gonna affect your home value, right? So, but the thing I definitely want you to remember 
if you want more listings, you should be running seller PDF report ads every week, right? Uh, you should be marketing listings as uh, listing ads as well at any status, just listed, coming soon, uh, pending or sold. You should be running an ad every week as well. So that's how you treat Facebook. And then as we uh, we're talking about the listing side, um, and we go even if the home is um, active, in this case it's an open house, your seller social media tools are going to be representing you they're going to help you and the, and the tools behind it can help you capture buyer and seller leads. the nearby homeowner letter is a the number one tool that we generate for high quality listing leads and the e-flyer for your database if you're sitting on uh you know a few hundred or a few thousand leads you should be using a tool like this at least once a week okay and blast it out on those people so those are the tools, most of them, for capturing high quality listing leads. Are, th are there any questions? I'm gonna take us to the landing page section and talk about one more tool that you should all sort of like be using. And, and I wanna point out, I didn't mention this earlier, but let me, let me be really straight with you. This home valuation landing page, many realtors think that running an ad on this is the most effective way of getting listing leads. And had we been talking like four or five years ago, I would be in 100% agreement. But now it's 2021 and Facebook has changed a lot over the years and running ads on home value pages like this can very often be a complete waste of time and money. The quality of these leads are so poor that it doesn't work. Now, if you're in an area for some people, I actually just had a, a call last week with somebody who said, yeah, I actually get good listing leads from this. So you're welcome to try it, but the tools that I've shown you today, they generate higher quality listing leads, okay? So, but there is something about this. Now, notice I have home valuation landing pages, they're called Property Valuation Plus, for many towns, right? And if you're growing your business in multiple towns, well, you should have one for every town as well, right? So I live in Lafayette, California, and Lafayette, there's a really sweet little neighborhood called Relies Valley. It's, it's almost like one long street that goes back like three miles, and there's like beautiful homes and acreage and all this, it's awesome. But there's one entrance to Relies Valley, the main entrance, and that has the, the Lafayette Swim Club in it. So when you're doing a post or you're creating a landing page to get home value leads, definitely take an extra couple of minutes to get a relevant photograph so that people know that you know the area that you're talking about, right? If you want them to sign up and, and find out their home value. So that's step number one. I'm going to click over here where it says edit and show you where the other tool is to help you capture good quality listing leads. So when we go here, or we change this background pictures over here on the left, but there's also a section that says advanced options, and then here it says print marketing. Now print marketing here, this looks like the nearby homeowner letter, but it's not. It actually doesn't have to do with a home, it has to do with a neighborhood. We call it the home sold report. You can update this text that I'm highlighting here in the middle and just say, you know what, 50 homes sold in this neighborhood last month. The high was here, you know, the square footage here. Just a couple data points. You want this on one page and people really don't want to read. What we want them to see is that you know about their neighborhood and that they can get their free home value right here, okay? That is the point of this page. Does that make sense to everybody? Uh, so you can create this whether you have a listing or you don't have a listing. Um, this tool right here, which showcases listings, you can borrow a listing or it can be your own listing. It could be at any status. It's still going to help you get listings. Okay. So these are the tools, guys, that I definitely want you to understand. Are there any questions about what you've seen, what I've shown you so far? 
You've talked about listings, you've talked about Facebook, you've talked about your CRM, um, and of course you talked about print, right? The nearby homeowner, homeowner. And I, I will point this out too, because I know a lot of you. We're, we're actually a, we're we're trying to work with a third-party printer to make the nearby homeowner letter dead easy and automatic, right? To where it gets mailed out. Because right now you got to download the letter and you got to figure out how to get it. But also, we also, in print marketing, you'll see a section actually under marketing, it says postcards and door hangers. And these are kind of configured the same way as that letter, meaning on one side, it talks about the home, it could be open house or sold. But on the other side, it says that's gonna affect your home value. So automatically in the back side of this postcard is a call to action to get become a listing lead. Okay. Now I want you to know this because a lot of people, you'll notice that we have door hangers and you'll notice that we have postcards. A lot of agents like to use those because there are printers who will do that, um, that, that automatically. Like you can actually send them the design, tell them what zip code and they'll blast it out. Ernst uh, is asking, does Prospect Plus, and you'll notice a Prospect Plus is, is referenced up here. They don't do the um the letter because the letter you have to fold and stuff an envelope they don't have that capacity so that's why we're looking for another third party but prospects plus will do postcards and door hangers so that's why it's there right now so those are the things really that are going to help you get more listings facebook ads marketing your listings the landing pages and the print flyers behind the home valuation landing pages are there any other questions, everybody, about how to get more listings with this system? And while I'm waiting for a question on that, I'm going to show you one question that came in the mastermind group. I think it's Terry Fox. Wix. So, I'm gonna wrap up here. I don't see any more questions, but a couple summers ago, somebody came in and said, who here lists two or more listings per month strictly from listings to leads? And what do you attribute your success to? Right, that was the question to the mastermind group, right? And Dustin, who I mentioned before said, hey, we get, two listings from every marketed listing all from listings to leads okay trying to get that number to above three i'm pretty sure at this point he's getting three listings every time he markets a listing and that's what i want to remind you if you market your listings with the tools that we recommend that you use which are basically the top five or six tools you're not only going to get buyers you're going to get more listings okay so that's kind of the message can you go over the seller reports again, especially if you don't have any more listings? Um, Janet, oh, you mean the PDF reports? Yeah. So if you go to the Facebook section or the ad section, you'll see, we'll, we'll click here, that you can create a PDF report ad, yeah. And, and it defaults to sellers. So choose any one of these and just click create an ad and type in your location add the custom question of when do you want to sell and publish does that make sense janet there are 25 reports for sellers okay there are 25 for buyers uh okay got it natalie how important are facebook pixels i'm confused about this let me explain to you what facebook pixels are right, i'm going to go over to i'm going to go over to market watch here so Market Watch, it's not related to, to, you know, what do you call it? Real estate. It's related to um, the stock market, right? And I've got an ad blocker here, so let's let's pause this real quick and let me refresh this. And what that should do is show me ads on this page, okay? And I'm not seeing it because 
for whatever reason. Let me go click on another one. Uh, let's see here. Sorry, I, got to, I, just, I just pull up CNN. So when you go to CNN or you go to many websites, you're going to see ads all over the place. Like CNN usually has a big banner ad on the top. Here, here's a banner ad from Hulu, right? Right here. This is going to follow me all over. I'm actually, I signed up for Hulu like I did something last week. And so now I'm seeing Hulu ads all over. That is essentially a pixel. It's like a cookie. All right. And so it embeds in the browser and it follows you around. I think from a kind of techie, slick, tricky, tricky standpoint, it's interesting. I, what I don't have for you, um, and that's kind of your question is, Natalie, is it really moving the needle to get you more business by getting your Facebook pixels in the system? I'm not hearing that. I think it's, it's great to say, yeah, I feel better that when somebody sees my ad and they click around on it, that it's that I'm following all, all over, right? If I go to Home Depot and I look at a drill and I go to another website, that drill is following me around. That's what pixels do regarding Facebook. Can it help? Sure. Does it move the needle as much as this letter over here? Not even close. Not even close. So all the tools I've been showing you are effective. Um, I did not mention the pixels, right? Uh, because that's not really putting the gas pedal down, right? It's fun to do. It's slick. You like that kind of stuff, right on. If you want to set that up, email our support team. I know we've got a tutorial on how to do that. But the tools that we talked about today are the best tools to help you get more listings. And as I mentioned, you don't even need your own listings to do it. You can go borrow a listing and you'll get that nearby homeowner letter or you can use the version that's on the back of any home valuation landing page. Um, and that's it, right? So are there any other questions on any topic? Happy, happy to answer for you. You're welcome now. Well, everybody, this call is being recorded and it will be in the mastermind group later today, okay? Um, and I want to kind of tell you this. I, I hope you're all in the mastermind group. Oh, I am going to tell you something right now. So don't leave because I'm about to just, I'm going to blow your mind right now in just a second. I do three training calls every two weeks. One is the call that we're on right now, which is top tools to get more listings. The other is great ways to run ads on Facebook. And the other one is get started. Okay. So if you want to see the most recent ones, just scroll down the page and you will see our most recent recordings. And I recommend that you see our most recent recordings because a lot of things are getting added to the system and you may not know that we have new tools. Okay. Now, what I also want to point out is tomorrow, there's going to be a very new and powerful tool in this system. And if you go to listings right here, it says, it says um, settings, there's going to be ads. Oh, wait, wait, activate Facebook and automated ads. Let me click this. Oh, I've got it in my account. That's awesome. Oh, wait, this is Scott's account. No, this is my account. Oh, interesting. Okay, they kind of messed it up. Um, sorry, I'm confused. <laughs> so. This is going to be live in your account, which means we can automatically run ads for you. You can say, I want all statuses, or I want to choose some statuses, and I want to leave out other statuses. Whatever, you choose those statuses. You put a maximum of how many ads you want per week, and you put a maximum budget for your month, right? What this is going to allow us to do for you is run ads automatically throughout the month. You set your budget there and you're good to go. But this is listing ads. This is the first step. We're also going to make it in the future. This is probably going to be next year. 
where you can also schedule your PDF report ads, right? So that you know you've got a consistent budget going out there, building your brand and capturing leads for you, right? So that's kind of what's going on. That's going to be live tomorrow. And I definitely recommend, um, well, I think automating ads can be really a smart thing to do. So that's why we built it. It's going to be live tomorrow. Everybody, I don't see any more questions, so I appreciate you joining me today. Um, this call is being recorded. It will be in the mastermind group. And definitely use our ad section and use all the tools I mentioned today if you want more listings. They, they work. They're working right now with COVID lockdowns and all the weird stuff going on across the country. What I've shown you today is working right now. So keep safe. Enjoy the holidays. And talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. Thank you.